We went in and brought up your name and we asked what the immediate thought was from the people on our Discord channel when they heard Luca Giotto. I'm not asking you questions here, but I'd like to see one, your reaction and two, any responses that you have when people bring up certain memories. So see, here, here's some of the comments that we had. Ollie thought of the 2019 Monaco feature race. Yeah, that's a bad one. <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a bad one. Well, let's you not focus what's... on it. No, 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 let, let's hear from your side of things, right? You should have been walking away with silverware. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's it's just one of those things that you just never want to to happen. Yet. You know, it's, it's not even, I mean, at least as far as I know, it's not even a team's fault. It's just, uh, I mean, the reason why we've been disqualified basically is just due to the track itself mm. by, you know, brushing the walls and everything, something that's, got a bit more usage than on the other tracks so when you get disqualified for something like that it's just really just you know it feels really bad because uh, we've done I think a great race and looking back at the virtuosi philosophy on setup I think the the car we have was not really um matching monaco mm. so for me personally to finish p2 was like a win because i know that was probably going to be one of the toughest uh races for us and then we got we, we just got the trophy taken away from us and that was really 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 bad i'll uh, stress as well that there was no evidence that this would be a sort of performance improvement that you had from it as well so even more unfortunate we've got no. this one from 12 TJ, who brings up F2 Magello Mazepin crash. Yeah, well, uh, it's it's quite a delicate thing, you know. It's uh, <laughs> it's been quite stressful in the pits after that. I bet. Um, especially considering, as I said before, like um, the reason why I was there for that year. Mm. So uh, you know, it's. Uh, the thing is, though, like uh, my competitive side always comes on either way, even if I'm held to, there to help someone else. You're a racing driver. And, you know, yeah. And that race, I was, you know, in that moment of the race, I was faster than him and I wanted to overtake him. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what happened after if he just mis misjudged the, the breaking point or whatever, because I was on the outside, so I couldn't do anything, basically. And he was just run, I was just run out, basically, and that's it. I mean, I was just turning into the corner and suddenly it was on the gravel, that's it. Uh, that's how I saw it. This one is a bit more of a happy memory. Jack Dewan also known as Bondi Wall. I don't believe it's the actual Jack doing in our Discord. Says his sprint race win in Bahrain 2019. Yeah, that's kind of... I mean, that's that's a really good, good, good memory because uh, it's uh, something that really fueled it. And I'm really, really happy to be one of the only two drivers to ever make, to ever made uh, a pit stop in the sprint race work hmm. you know I think it was uh, like one month ago the F2 posted a video of of Leclerc uh, hmm. when he when he did it in 2017 hmm. and yeah I was like on one like when I when I saw that video I was a bit like you know if I if I if I would be in F1 right now people would talk about it if they would they would talk about it yes and you were the one that was uh, that close from stopping Leclerc, right? It was like that last lap, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. So it really was a bit of bit painful when I saw the video one month ago because I was like, I mean, why do people always forget about the others who did it? Yeah. But that, I mean, Leclerc is a Ferrari driver and one of the best in F1. So, I mean, you cannot really be too sad about it. I think it's quite common that uh, F2 posts things about him and not about me. 
<laughs> well, we still love you. This one comes from AS19. Bringing Nasani back down to earth in 2018 with Campos. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a, I have to say, 2018 was a quite, quite a tough year because we had a new car and everyone was kind of like trying things with setup just to, you know, understand what was working and what not. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, it's for us, it's been quite an up and down season that year. We had some races where we were really quick on race pace and, and some other where we were uh, basically nowhere. Mm. And it's, you know, it's, uh, but I, I'm, I mean, at least when things were good, uh, we were on front, so mm. we, good, good we maximized. Year, right? Yeah, we maximized it, uh, and I think it, especially through the end of the year, we 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 improved quite a lot. And I always said, I mean, when when I think about 2019, I remember of Jack with the uh, orange campus being really really quick, mm. and I always think. They were so quick also because of how we ended the 2018 season, because what we found at the end of the year could have made, a, made us much quicker, basically, even in the earlier races. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm just sad we, we didn't discover a few things uh, earlier in the season. But, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, motorsport is never easy. So <laughs> that's not true. Um, this one's also talking about a team that kind of fell on harder times that I first had thought about your winning for Trident, although that was back in GP2. And up until very recently, you were the last Trident winner in this uh, this category. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, that's, that was something also to be uh, really proud of, I have to say. But now I cannot anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, Trident... Trident is probably the, 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 it's like my Italian race family, really, because I've been with them for, for quite a few years. And even after I raced with them, I've always helped them on a way or the other. So I know everyone really good in the team. And I'm really, really happy for them to, to be competitive again. So I really hope it's not going to be the only win. I know, I, I really hope. They're gonna be competitive, but I, I mean, looking at Jeddah qualifying, and I mean, for sure, for sure, uh, both drivers are, are are doing great. It was good to see them again in the front row this weekend, and I'm quite sure then then that once they go back to the European tracks, uh, it will go even better, you know, because uh -huh. uh, those tracks is well known. Those tracks are well known by by all drivers, so you always have more, even more confidence on yourself when you drive there. Uh, but I'm really, really happy. You know, it's uh, they, they've been struggling, uh, but it's it's good to see they never stop believing. You know, it's you always need to work hard, and I think they did a good job. And you know, it, that that reminds me a little bit of. When we were in the in GP3 together, and the year before, I, in 2014, they were like last in the championship, and then in 2015 we fought with Ocon for the for the GP3 title, and was a mega year. And then since then, in F3, they've always been one of the top teams. Uh -huh. So I think uh, having um, you know a good moment gives you also some good. Uh, momentum, yeah. which at the end might not be something technically that helps you, but even just uh, how you feel, you know, like the, even the, the the humor of the team at the end is always a good thing. So if you if you start go well, you have more wish they wish to work harder and do more things, and I'm not I'm I'm really sure they're gonna just gonna get better and better and better welcome it in formula two and you can go and give them some tips for imola for their next race from your weekend experience coming up right yeah. uh, this yeah, one exactly. final one comes from scotty 13 
Winning that race in Hungary 2020, what a race that was, drama until the end. Yeah, well, that, that was probably the only happy moment I had in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been tough. Like in the car, it was it was scary because uh, I knew the pace difference, and it's kind of, it's one of those things that normally always tend to go good for the guy who's coming with the new tires. So mm -hmm. I, I was a bit of. I was thinking about Bahrain 2017 sprint race a bit because I was like, okay, this is going to be the same. But then at the end, uh, surprisingly, I have to say, at the start of the last lap or the last two laps anyway, the, the, the delta between me and Callum was hmm. much smaller. So uh, I think I actually did quite a decent job on managing tires. So when I needed them, I actually had still a little bit left on them or enough to defend really for nothing because we were quite basically five meters apart in the in the start finish line but it was a good a good a good feeling it was you know it's one of those things that when when they happen is uh it's 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 nice you just one final question on my side were you surprised that callum never made it into f1 um well i'm i'm surprised because many, many drivers never made it to F1, <laughs> really. It's, it's, we're, we're always kind of going back to the same, to the same discussion, really. Mm -hmm. it's, it's those things, I think you will, you will never get an answer. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's going to be something that will stand forever in this, in this world. I, I hope there will be some changes in the future, but at least there are some categories like Indy or Super Formula or even not Formula cars that are still friendly to drivers with no budget or that are that don't have the same chances. So, you know, it's I think that's really a little bit what is saving motorsport on mm -hmm. one side because F1, F1 has only 20 cars and there are I don't know how my, how many drivers are around the world. So, if we would all just try to go to F one, I mean, it would just be uh, I don't know. It's it's just it's just useless. I mean, luckily there's something else to try go do. Yeah, pay pay your bills elsewhere, um, Luca. That's all the time we've got for those questions. And I know you've been on a lot longer than I expected or anticipated. So your questions have, or your answers have been fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. As always, always a pleasure.